I'm not a morning person. I managed to wake up like two hours early on my own because my brain was like, hey, you got videos to work on. person and makes the world a better place. Today is September 14th, 2016, day two of the whole vlogging thing, and today I learned how to prioritize, no, today is editing day. All right, so I kind of wanted to go into a little bit as to why I wanted to do this channel. I explained yesterday that I wanted this to be an excuse to get out and do more in the world. Um, but I will not say that I reached this goal on my own. Um, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Um, you know, I'll work and I'll have just some random videos going on in the back just to, you know, keep my mind going. It's quiet during the day, so I play videos and stuff in the back uh, just to kind of have background noise. Um, sometimes music, sometimes videos. Uh, but in doing that, I've come across a couple of channels that actually have inspired me a great deal. There are two channels that I'd like to discuss um, that have been very important in me deciding to do this vlog. Um, the first one, you should check him out, uh, he is Casey Neistat. Um, he's a cool dude in New York and he's got a lot of cool toys and gadgets and um, he, he has a very interesting life. He, he goes out and does a lot of interesting things. Not so much that he has a lot of cool stuff, and it's not so much that he leads a cool life as to what about his videos inspired me to do this. Uh, what inspired me to start getting out more and start doing more and to start this vlog is that he always pushes to do more. He, uh, he, he always fills his day to the brim with creating things, uh, with living life to the fullest, with um, just being as productive as absolutely possible. And it, it's, it's almost tiring to watch him if you think about it. But in the end, he creates a daily vlog and uh, he, he does just so much and it's amazing and it's entertaining to watch and he does such a good job with it and he, you know, he has the views and the followers, you know, uh, to, to show that. So if you haven't checked out his channel, definitely do that. The second channel that I'd like to bring up is uh, a guy that I just recently come across. Um, his name is Philip DeFranco. Um, he's, he's just a funny guy. Uh, he, he does a weekly thing where each day he fills you in and just, just discusses topics. Uh, and that's something maybe I'll do later on uh, if, if something really hits me hard. Uh, I'm not gonna make this like a news channel or anything. The reason why he inspired me to also create this vlog is because he's just a very personable guy. He, 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 he's easy to watch, he's easy to listen to, and it made me reflect on um, my own personal skills, my own communication skills. Uh, it made me reflect on the fact that I don't really open up and talk to people a lot um, as much as I would like to. It made me reflect on my own personal ability or almost inability to smoothly talk to somebody. Uh, to, to just be friendly and warm and outgoing and funny and all that good stuff. So the reason why that inspired me is because it, it makes me want to work more on my ability to speak to people. Public speaking, uh, I've always had some sort of stage fright. Um, with a band, getting up on stage is uh, kind of tough for me, but uh, I do it because I love the music and I love people enjoying our music and I love just everything about you know being on stage with the guys. This, uh, this is also going to be a tool to help me become better at speaking to people. Uh, so, so benefits all around. So those are the two channels that have really inspired me to, to start this. Uh, there are others, um, but you know the, those are the two main ones that have really, really pushed me to, to decide to do something like this. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I just uploaded my channel introduction, 
and I'm super excited. Um, I've sent it privately to a couple of my friends and I've gotten some pretty good responses on it. So thanks guys. Uh, I've, uh, makes me proud. It makes me happy. Thanks. So, uh, Sam's presence came today and, uh, <laughs> I, I've set up some clues. I've created some clues and I found some hiding places for, uh, for her presence. So we're going to do sort of like a scavenger hunt and, uh, we're going to go ahead and place these clues down. Sam has had a fascination with ukuleles for a little while now, and she's really, really been wanting one. Um, she's talked about it for a year or two now about wanting to learn how to play ukulele because I don't know, it suits her. Um, and you know, I'm all about people learning music. <laughs> yeah. So uh, done with work. It's uh, seven o'clock. Sam found a presence. She was uh, kind of happy about the ukulele. Uh, so now we're on the way. We're gonna go grab some dinner um, and then go to the house. Uh, we just recently bought a house and uh, it still needs some work. Uh, we got to do some painting. Um, but before we do that, we're going to try a Kobe restaurant and see how good it is. So here goes. exciting we have a Japanese place right next to the new house that is really freaking awesome all right so uh, we're at the house let me show you around all right so kitchen area living room Still needs to be painted. Front door. Hallway. Den that is connected to the kitchen. Kind of interesting. Master bedroom. Not huge, but gets the job done. Guest bedroom. Look at that color. Main bathroom upstairs. <sighs> Look, 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 what, what, what is, why? Don't understand any of this. I mean, it's nice enough. Old school paint tub, but whatever. Funky tiling, it's cool. But seriously, look at that. Why? All right, yeah, downstairs. Yes, it's green. Don't ask me why. Basement. I'm gonna convert it into my office slash man cave. Not really man cave, whatever. But uh, first, gotta get rid of the green. Garage. My favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing of this house is this right here. What could be behind this door? Darkness, you say? Yes, darkness. Okay, I gotta get the light. This room is going to be what I make my cider with. That is some of my cider equipment. So yeah, the house needs a lot of work. We're still in the middle of painting, but once it's done, it'll look nice. 
So yeah, uh, the project is just getting the corners. So that way when we paint this wall, it's nice dark blue. It doesn't bleed over into our nice gray. can't tell, we like blue. So, uh, this is a thing. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got some work done. It's a little late, but it's worth it. Okay, uh, I wanna make this quick, Sam. She's already in bed and uh, it's late and I'm tired. <laughs> so um, today we just did work on the house. It was great, it was fun. Um, did a lot of editing today. Uh, basically nonstop all day from the time I got up, got, got up early, edited. <laughs> uh, worked all day, did some fun stuff on lunch with Sam's gifts. And then after work, edited some more until Sam got home and then painted at the house and then edited some more. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of tired, but it's fun. It's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh, and these videos seem to be coming out pretty well. Um, so if you've enjoyed the video so far, uh, I plan on keeping on making them. They're fun. Uh, so yeah, just keep with it and let me know what you think.